everyone, Dr. Chris here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the settings that you need within ArcGIS Pro to make good animations come out, but to make great animations, you'll need at least one other program. So, without further ado, here we go. All right, here I am back in the office, and once again, I'm going to be talking about the animation settings within ArcGIS Pro that you are going to export as video for your presentations, your other videos such as YouTube. Now, I am not going to be talking completely about how to set up the animations, and that's because the setup and their camera angles that you, you know, jump around your map and all the zooming in, zooming out that you want to do. That is a little bit of an art form that I'll probably leave for another video, eh, if you request it, of course. So, without further ado, we're going to be talking about animation settings. Now, the reason why I'm only going to be talking about settings is because I don't really like the video that comes out of ArcGIS Pro. Now, it's fairly good, don't get me wrong, especially when you play with the settings which I'm about to show you. I start off in ArcGIS Pro now because I do a lot of video productions and I love making really cool presentations. I take my video out of ArcGIS Pro and go into Premiere Pro, which is an Adobe product. Premiere Pro allows you to put in titles, special effects, animations from After Effects, you can put in different sound effects. It's a great little program. I sound like I'm shilling for it. I don't get paid just like I don't get paid by Esri. But you can if you like. Once I've done all my video manipulation within Premiere Pro, I send them to two locations, that being my YouTube channel and into presentations, uh, especially through PowerPoint. This brings me to the settings within ArcGIS Pro to export properly into Premiere Pro. These are the top settings and I will show you them within ArcGIS Pro, but I'm gonna talk about them first. That is the first setting we wanna look at is key frame timing. This is how long the little segments of your animations are. If you have a small area and you don't have much to render, you can actually have a pretty short key frame time and I'll show you that in my video. The next is the total length of the animation which has to do with the individual key frame times. If you have a really large area, you're going to want much larger keyframe times so that your images will render properly. The rendering is very important, especially if you have big maps and big rasters to render. The next setting is file type. Now I use MP4, which I'm going to show, and that is because it's an easy import into Premiere Pro. YouTube, and PowerPoint. The frames per second is also very important because this is where you can do some cool stuff within Premiere Pro because the higher the frame rate, the slower or faster you can move the video within Premiere Pro to get cool effects, better fades. It does take up a lot more space on your hard drive, but really with the hard drives the way they are today, it shouldn't really matter as long as you have a semi-good computer. And finally, resolution, and I just pump it up to the maximum that it currently exports, which is 1080p. Doing 4K right now, you'd have to have a pretty good computer to do 4K. Here I am within ArcGIS Pro. I already have open an animation that I've been creating. If you want to create an animation and you don't know how to get there, it's easy. You just go to view and there's this little button here that says add animation. Now I've already added animation, so I'm just going to click back on the animation. And here what I have set up is a a local scene where I've changed the elevation surface to be some LiDAR that we have in the area. As a quick example, I'll zoom in and zoom out using the uh, 3D tools. I've done a little bit of an exaggeration on, on the elevation because the area is pretty flat. Now I've set up keyframes down at the bottom and I've got nine keyframes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the video and it's really fast and that's because my area is really small and the render time is almost zero. I zoom in facing north I move from west to east and then from south to north. 
Uh, this was all just sort of click through. I didn't really pay any attention to what I was completely doing. I just wanted to be able to show you some settings for animations out, in this case, video out from ArcGIS Pro. If you had a lot bigger area and you had a lot of things to render, like a lot of different imagery and a lot of different features, you would have to have a lot longer keyframe to render properly. So on the movie export, to get to movie export, it's click on this button up here. Now you have a bunch of options up here. I'm only concerned about YouTube, but I also like the HD 1080p. Well, it doesn't say P, but HD 1080. So in this case, I've already have some set up, so I'll just hit HD 10P. You save it where you want to save it. Make sure it's, well, you can change it. I like MP4 because that is good for Premiere Pro and that's good for direct export to YouTube. And this is where the other settings come into effect. Where you can choose the frame rate. I pop it up to the highest frame rate. And I do this because when I take it to Premiere Pro, I may want to do fades or I may want to do slow downs or I may want to speed up and the more frames you have to work with within Premiere Pro the more cool stuff you can do with your videos. What that also means is that the render time within ArcGIS Pro goes way up. Now I've already created them but I'm going to keep going here. Next is resolution. If you got a good enough computer I do 1080p. Now as I said before you can do 4k but I know even the computer I'm working on right now 4k is a huge drag. So select 1080p letterbox and then hit export. The two videos that I exported out of ArcGIS Pro actually took two hours to process. They look all right, but they will look way better in Premiere Pro. Here's the first animation, just my high resolution imagery. I scan through, it looks a little blurry right now, but that's because it's just on a monitor and I'll show you what it turns out in the other program. And the other video. This is the uh, classification that I did on the color infrared. Again, oh, way up there if I have uh, made my cards properly. I bring my videos and some logos into Premiere Pro and then I'm able to do some really cool stuff that you cannot do within ArcGIS Pro very well anyways. And that is create crossfades and put on logos and move text around very easily. So I'm gonna show you quickly. Now it's at the same speed, but because it's at 60 FPS, I can now slow it down and do way more interesting stuff with these videos. To recap, I just showed you some settings that you can maximize your video out from ArcGIS Pro. Now, the rendering time will skyrocket. You will have to have more space on your hard drive to save these videos, but the end product is way easier and way better to use within other video manipulation software. Thanks for watching. I've got some cool stuff on the horizon. It's called Geographic Information Success. It may take me a few months to come out, but I think it's going to be something that you will enjoy. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.